So of course, when you come to Dunlap, no doubt you're going to be expecting the cute boutiques and shops and restaurants that are the feature of every small community. But what you might not be expecting is our next guest in this uh, show. This is Earl Shockley, who is the president of Empowered. And perhaps you have not heard of Empowered, but I bet there is a real chance you have been benefited by what they do. So thank you for letting us come to see you. Well, thank you for being here. You are a world-class operation here. Uh, to helping clients all over the world, quite literally, with everything, Earl, from cybersecurity, energy efficiency, if you will, mm -hmm. um, and regulatory oversight on a smaller scale than the U.S. government would bring. Do I kind of have that right? Yes, you're, you're pretty well on spot. Uh, we, we do um, specialize in physical and cybersecurity power system operations in the energy sector, that's the planning aspect as well. And, and we're really deep into the regulatory aspect of the Code of Federal Regulations that monitors and regulates the, the power grid, so. So you chose 20 years ago to call Dunlap home. I did, yes. You love it here because of the sense of community. You're a veteran. Yes, I am. Uh, and there's a strong veteran support here in town. Absolutely, and I just fell in love with this valley. This valley is, uh, military guy been all over the world I mean when you come over the hill and you look at Sequatchie Valley uh, it's hard hard to say there's a prettier place in the world in my opinion but and yet so you're nestled in here mm -hmm. right smack dab in the middle of downtown Dunlap <laughs> I am, yes. uh, and yet on a daily basis you are dealing with big name players all over the world because yes. you've taken your military years in the Navy yes. and then I guess your civilian experience too and you created this company to do what so yeah, I have about 40 plus years in, in the energy sector, uh, and that's including my, my military background as well. Uh, we really just wanted to help the energy sector simplify the complexity around the business, okay? And the business has become so complex over the years with regulatory rules and, and the different changing dynamic aspects of the power grid. So uh, our goal really is to bring strategy and, and techniques to companies that um, I've learned as a national level regulator for number one, um, I had the opportunity, I was blessed with the opportunity to put my head under the hood of many organizations and cultures uh, across North America. Uh, I saw why they failed and, and I fully understood why they were successful. And I had a lot of conversations with uh, the, uh, the C-level folks all the way down to the frontline leadership about what they did well and what they didn't do well. So that's just something that um, I brought into my practice because um, we're really challenged um, with particularly resources, uh, smaller companies like uh, municipals and cooperatives are really challenged with uh, getting the right talent in. Um, I just read a study recently where um, boomers like myself that would retire, for every five of us that retire, there's only two in the pipeline. So we're really struggling with resources. So I'm able to come in and supplement the resource. I'm able to come in and supplement the, the strategy that they need and, and help them be successful. You, um, you say this as if it just rolls off of your tongue because it's <laughs> what you do every day. I'm trying to really ingest it all. Sure. You said something to me earlier, and did I hear you correctly, that some years back, I don't remember when, you were able to be part of this national effort to make some changes, right, in the industry? That's correct. Uh, in 2003, we had a major blackout in the Northeast, and I was fortunate enough to be selected to be uh, one of the people to help stand up an organization um, that's deemed the Electric Reliability Organization, which came from the 2005 Power Act. Um, and the NERC, which is the North American Electric Reliability Corporation, was certified as the ERO. Uh, I was um, one of the early members to help uh, build the strategy around developing regulatory rules and monitoring those for compliance. Um, and because I had a background and I am a, um, a certified root cause analysis instructor, um, I really fell into the role of uh, leading uh, blackouts, national level blackouts. So uh, I had told you that not many of us will go back to remember necessarily 2002, right. but just this past Christmas we had those freezing cold temperatures, an awful lot of us had our Christmas Eve lights flickering on and off uh, because of that extreme cold. The work that you do in dealing with the cooperatives and with NERC, 
does that help prevent total blackouts again? Well, I don't think there's ever a silver bullet, right? Because uh, we are human and we're mm -hmm. fallible. Uh, but yes, what it does is it puts strategy in place. Um, in 2011, we had a major cold snap in Texas and I led that investigation. Uh, unfortunately, in 2021 and then this recent storm, Elliot, um, the same recommendations that came from my blackout in 2011 are the same things that are challenging the industry today. Um, and it really is, so there's a precedent set there and one of the things we can do better as an energy sector is learn from our lessons mm -hmm. and implement uh, the lessons learned that come from these, right? Uh, we haven't done that very well, but now we're starting to pay more attention because we're seeing that not only is the, the freezing happening in Texas, it's happening elsewhere as well. So we help with the strategy around how to implement that and how to implement the rules that are coming from that because mm -hmm. every time we have a major incident like this, uh, we get uh, a deeper regulation. It was not lost on me when we parked the car this morning that right across from you is a historic marker for the old Coke uh, mines yes. that were here. So energy changes. It over does. the years. Are you looking uh, to new changes in the way we consume our energy in the years to come? Absolutely. That's one of the biggest changes, uh, the changes in resources. When I was a system operator, we had a lot of nuclear, a lot of coal, a lot of hydro, and, and we ran from that aspect. Uh, they're retiring a lot of the coal plants now. Uh, there's a lot of replacement with solar and wind farms. We work a lot with those. And to integrate those into the power grid is a challenge because uh, they're not as dynamic as like the coal plants and the nuclear plants. So we have to have uh, additional strategy around how they're implemented, how we plan around them, how we model those for the industry, and then real-time operations around them. Because uh, if you don't have sun, you don't have solar. Right. <laughs> so what do you do, right? So your plan has to be deeper. And, and so we do, we help folks. Uh, and there's a lot of regulatory rules coming down the pike to regulate how you use wind, how you use solar, and how you integrate natural gas and, and all these other different things into it. Before I let you run, to your left is a bunch of artifacts yes. and uh, memorabilia. Yes. Any unique stories behind any of those pieces? Yes, uh, well, some of this stuff was uh, from the Navy. This is off my ship, the USS Ranger. Um, these are different uh, things that I've collected over time, um, and you can see that uh, since I've been in the industry 40 plus years, that our electronics have changed quite a bit. Right? Quite a bit. So when I first started, those were the kind of tools that we used, and um, they've changed quite a bit. They're but a little bit smaller now. They're a little bit smaller. <laughs> they're a lot more accurate. Well, Earl, <laughs> thank you for letting us step into your Absolutely. world. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Thank you You would have here. never known they were here in Dunlap, Tennessee, but this is home for him, uh, and he is very glad to be here. It's called Empowered. Their contact information, their website is there on your screen should you want to look up more information about what they do, keeping us all safe. Thank you so much. Thank you.